Hello guys, welcome back to a video that a lot of you guys have been waiting for. This is it, the return of roller coaster reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing Jurassic World Velocicoaster at Universal's Islands of Adventure, which is their brand new Intamin Blitz coaster. Before I give my thoughts, let's go over some stats. This coaster sits at a height of 155 feet, goes a top speed of 70 miles per hour, has four inversions, it has a track length of over 4,000 feet. So yeah, Dress World Velocicoaster, it's got some pretty good stats. So, this coaster opened up recently in June 10th of 2021. However, I got to experience this roller coaster for the first time on May 2nd, 2021 during its pass holder preview. And the first time that I rode this roller coaster, I instantly fell in love. This coaster literally exceeded my expectations. I had high expectations going into this thing, but it really did exceed them and literally just from the queue line, which has, in my opinion, one of the best queue lines I've ever seen on a roller coaster, with the theming and the insane roller coaster ride, which we'll get into a bit. Like this coaster, literally, just this. When I first rode it, it became a number one coaster, which it's not num my number one for right now. Two coasters are a bit higher in my rankings, in my opinion. But Dress World Veloc Coaster really is up there. Like people think it. Like whenever building this thing, they were like, "Oh, it's gonna be slow." But guys, no. This thing literally feels like it's hauling through the way up. So let's go ahead and get into the roller coaster. So exiting the station, you'll then make a left turn, and then you'll stop and Chris Pratt will tell you to not go, and then you just launch down the station into the paddock, and you start off with going through an Immelman, and this Immelman is pretty cool. You get some really good hang time, but if you're in the back row of exiting the Immelman, you get ejector, and that's pretty surprising. So after that, then you go to a dive loop, which towards the front row, you will get ejector as well. If you're in the back row, you'll get a little whipped over it, which is really good. So then after that element, then you'll go through a series of twists and turns through the paddock with also getting some really good airtime hills like that one right there, which you get some really good ejector. And of course, you'll get to meet all four of the Raptors, which let me tell you, I was a little disappointed that they didn't move, but you know what? They didn't need to. The fact that you're traveling so fast that you probably wouldn't even notice it. So then after that, then you go into your second launch. And let me tell you, that second launch hits like wildfire. It is a very intense launch, and it really does propel you up to the top hat, which is the tallest peak of the ride. Let me tell you, going up to the top hat, you get ejected. And then if you're in the back row of the top hat, you will get ejector going down the drop, which let me tell you, that ejector in the back row during that drop is absolutely ridiculous. Some of the best ejector I've experienced. So then you go into the zero G style, which that was the one element I was a little underwhelmed with when I first rode it, but it really has started to grow on me over time. And then after that, then you go into the most intense part of the ride, which is the helix. And then you'll go into a wave turn, which is almost like some of the RMCs out there. Then you go to a cutback element, which is, I think, one of the most underrated parts of the entire coaster. People tend to overlook the cutback element. The wave turn is cool, but that cutback element, I think, is very underrated. But then it prepares you for the killer finale of this roller coaster. So you go through a little bit of an airtime hill, and then you go into the signature element, the Mosasaurus roll. And holy freaking crap, this element is insane. Like, the way it twists you is literally terrifying. Like, that was the one moment of this ride that had me actually in shock just the way that it twisted you. It is, in my opinion, the best inversion I've ever experienced on any roller coaster. So then you go into a couple more turns, which give you some ejector, and then into the brakes, which ends your Jurassic World Velocicoaster experience. So overall, what do I think of Jurassic World Velocicoaster? I think it is an absolutely incredible roller coaster. The Universal Orlando really did knock it out of the park once again, and is not only my favorite roller coaster at Universal Orlando, but my favorite coaster in Florida, and of course, favorite coaster in Orlando. And it is also my favorite launch coaster, and is in my top three. So for its overall score, you know I am absolutely giving it a 10 out of 10, regardless. Because this roller coaster is just, it combines an incredible roller coaster with theming, rock work, literally straight up from the movies. Like, it is almost a perfect roller coaster. I know it's the perfect launch coaster. So that is going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the first roller coaster view that's been back since for the longest time ever. I will promise, guys, I'll make sure to post more reviews in the future. I've just been so busy with stuff that I've only had time to do vlogs. But don't worry, I'll make sure to post some reviews. So that is going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
If you did, feel free to give it a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future if you enjoyed this one. Then also, don't forget to check out Theme Park Guide Productions on all social media platforms. Instagram, TikTok, Discord. Go check out, because like why wouldn't you? I'll see you guys next time, and you're clear for Dispatch.